In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine whether something is linear or something is nonlinear from a graph, a table, an equation. So let's go. Question number one. Now, from a graph, it's pretty easy to, easy to tell if something is linear or nonlinear from a graph. This, the root of this is line, and this makes a straight line. And it doesn't matter where this straight line is. If it's one continuous straight line, it is linear. So this is a linear graph. Okay? It doesn't have to go through 0, 0 to be linear. It does have to go through 0, 0 to be proportional, but not linear. Linear can be any straight line. This is nonlinear because it's a curve. It's not a line. Now, from a table is a little bit more challenging. Let's look at this. Now, when we look at a table, we're really getting at the heart of what does it mean to be linear. So a linear graph is linear because between any two points, we have a constant rate of change. Between this point and this point, for every one we go over, we go up four. We go over another one, we still go up four. As long as that's consistent, it's going to be linear. And the same thing is true from the table. For every one that we go up, y is going up 4. So when I put my rise over my run, my y's over my change in y's over my change in x, I get 4, which is the same if I do these. So up 1, up 4, 4 over 1 equals 4. So what you want to do is look at the change in y and divide by the change in x and see if it's the same for all points in the table. If it is, it's linear. Let's look at one that's not linear. So obviously from the, gr the graph here, you can tell that it is not linear because it's a curve. But looking at the rate of change here, it goes over 1, up 1, over 1, up three, you can see that the rate of change is different between each two points. And so that's what makes it not linear. So what does that look like in the table? So my change in X is up one. My change in Y is up one. See, that's connected to what I found right here. So one over one, this is the change in Y, change in X, change the delta symbol means change so i used a triangle there but change in y and change in x is one over one which is one if i look at the next y value so you can't stop there you have to look at every pair of y's to determine this this is going up by three this is going up by one so my change is three over one three over one, which is equal to three. And so these rates of change are not the same, so it's not linear. You have to make sure that you're comparing, because the only way you can tell if it's not linear is if the rate of change between any two set of points is not the same. So let's take a look at these three examples here and see, do these represent linear functions? Of course you could graph them and see, but who's gonna go grab some graph paper and see? especially when we can just look at our change in x's. So you might go, oh, it's going up by 2, it's going up by 2, that must be linear. But if you look at my change in x's, I went up by 1, and then I went up by 2. So if I divide these changes, 2 over 1 is 2, and I divide these, 2 over 2 is 1. So this, the change between this point and this point is less than the change between this point and this point. So this is not linear. How about this one? Take a look. What do you think? Is it linear or not linear? We're going down by six. We're going up by four. That's okay. We're allowed to do that. Then we're going down by three and up by two. So when I divide those, let me go up here and do that. So negative 6 divided by 4 is the same thing as it's negative 1.5 or negative 3 halves. And negative 3 divided by 2 is, of course, negative 3 halves. So at least from the data in this table, it looks like it's linear because I got the same thing. So change in y over the change in x, and if you get the same thing, it's linear. 
So for here, up three, here, up one, here, up one, here, up three. Yep, that's clearly linear. That is a pattern that is the same rate of change. All right, our last thing to talk about is from an equation. So from this equation, all functions have a degree, which have a degree of one are linear. All functions which have a degree of one are linear. So these are nonlinear because when you look at their exponent, it's something other than one. And you say, well, this one doesn't, the, none of these have an exponent of one. And you're right, but there is an understood one there. So when there's no exponent on the X, there is an understood one. And that makes these all linear. And it's all about the X. We don't really care what the Y is doing. We hope that it's not squared or to the third power or to the fourth power, because that makes it not a function. But if you have X to the first power, that makes it, that means your graph is going to be a line. So hopefully now you know how to solve whether, not solve, but know whether something is linear or nonlinear from a graph, from a table, and from an equation.